Hello, hello. Today I have a car boot sale and charity shop haul, and I've got a couple of bits. I've got one thing from Topshop and one thing from ASOS Marketplace, and one thing that's not from anywhere. So yes, I will begin with things from a charity shop. I've got a list of what I have on my phone because I need to do it because it's like a big like I've bought these things over like two months, so I'm trying to do them in the order of when I bought them. So yes, the first thing I bought was this scarf from a charity shop and it was two pounds. It's got like this nice print sort of like, and it's blue, green, it's got a green outline. I just, it's a really nice scarf. And if you watch my other charity shop haul, like it's basically the same shape, it's square. And I just like to wear it round. Uh, the second thing I got was this bag, um, which is this, it's like, it's a really nice bag, I really like it, it's like tapestry print, it's got um, some, I don't know if this is leather, it's got a strap, you open it and it's got all these sections in it, the only problem that I have with this bag is it smells like old people and I cannot get the smell out, which is really irritating me and this was £5, which is like probably the most I've ever spent in a charity shop. Oh wait, no it's not because there's something more in this video, but when I bought this there was most I spent in a charity shop. But I really liked it, so I'm going to really, really try and get the smell out. Um, and the last thing I got from that charity shop was this sleeveless check shirt with a collar. It buttons all the way up, I probably should have buttoned this up before the video. But you can just get the gist of what it is, purple, pink, orange, white, blue. Uh, I really like it, it was only £1.50. Which I think was pretty good for this. For the summer, it will be a nice piece for my wardrobe. Probably won't wear it that much, but for £1.50, you can't really go wrong. Just, I look really orange on the camera today, and I'm not really sure why, but trust me, I'm not that orange. And then the second time I went charity shopping, I, actually, I actually went charity shopping like the next week because after I'd been that time, I was like, oh, I want to go charity shopping again. So I went. And uh, the first thing I bought was some jeans that were size 12 and they looked nice as like oversized jeans but then when I brought them home I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to style them with so I actually cut them into shorts and these are what they look like as shorts um they've just they've just come out the wash so they're a little bit more frayed than they were which I'm glad I'm gonna try and fray them some more but they're actually quite they're not hugely high-waisted but they're pretty high-waisted so I'm quite impressed with these. I managed to like I, I'm used to cutting shorts. I've done it before, but I think they're they're a good length and they'll be a good comfy pair of shorts for the summer. And then the second thing I bought that time was amazing. I was so so happy when I bought these. The only problem is they're a bit big, um, and I'm not sure I might cut them into shorts. But what they are are these black jeans, which are Levi Levi jeans. And the Levi label is like battered. It's so battered. Um, but I really, really like them. And they were only seven pounds. And like, like I said, seven pounds is a lot for a charity shop. But um, I think it's worth it considering you can get these for thirty pounds in Topshop. But they're just. I rolled them up on the bottom because they're a bit long. The only thing problem I have is they're like straight leg, so they just go straight down. So. Although they're like baggy, they look fine, but then when it gets to the bottom, they just sort of swamp my leg. So I might cut them into shorts, and if I do, I will probably film a video of me doing that. So maybe you might like to see that. And then the last thing I got that day was this scarf, which is like a silky um, sort of, I don't know what kind of print this is. You know, like people do have those leggings with like chains on. It's kind of like that. I think it's silk. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, 100% silk. Dry clean only. But it's just... And it's creased. I had it in my bag and it's just creased. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to wear this. I mean, like, I've thought about putting it, like, around my head. But I don't know if that would look silly. So, we'll, we'll see with that one. And the next thing I got was... I have... Right, I've wanted dungarees for ages you know when you want something for ages yeah 
right? I've wanted it for ages, and then two pairs came along. Because basically, what happened was I ordered some from ASOS Marketplace, and they were twenty pounds, and then they didn't come for ages. So my dad cancelled the order because apparently they'd sent them and they hadn't come. So yeah, my dad cancelled the order, and then my nan came, and she bought me some from Topshop. And then when I came back to my dad's house, they'd come. So now I have two pairs. And sadly, I don't have the Topshop ones to show you because they're at my mum's house. But I'm sure you've all seen them before. They're just quite, like, robust dungarees. But I'm going to do a How I Style Dungarees video. But I've got the ASOS Marketplace ones here. They're, I don't wear these as much because they're quite um, swamping. They're quite big. Uh, but they look quite cute when they're on even though they are quite big, but they're just like this, they've got button up at the sides, I don't really undo the buttons, um, pockets, it's got a little velcro pouch at the front, and then a pouch here, it's got, yeah, it's got back pockets, and I really like them, and I'm really happy with my Topshop ones as well, which are basically the same, but they're just a bit more fitted, kind of, but I'm really, really happy with this, and... I'm really happy with my Topshop ones. I had to um, sew them up, roll them up and sew them. If like, if you can see the sewing there, because they were they were quite long. They weren't like leg. They sort of just hit like above my knee. So I had to cut them down. And then I have been right. Well, I was at my boyfriend's house, and where he lives, there's like it's like an old like railway railway town is it tom yeah and because there's like a railway at the front of where it is and then all the houses are in like rows it's like really like like i don't know all orderly and then behind each row of houses there's an alleyway so we were walking down the alleyway right and i just saw this table and i was like oh it's so nice and i really wanted it and apparently like when you don't want something where tom lives you just put it outside your alley and a half an hour later it'll be gone. So he picked up the table and carried it home and then I took it home. So I have it, I, obviously I can't show it to you, but it's a big white coffee table. And I have, I will put a clip in now of what it looks like. And so you can see, and I'm really happy with it. It's white and I'm just like, my plan is to decoupage the top. And that leads me on to my next thing, which is I went to a boot sale and I bought these old comics. Um, I've got the Dandy comic from 1979, Topper comic from 1971 and Host Hotspur from 1982. And my plan is to cut up those comics and decoupage the top of the table with the... I've got some, I like, bits of comic that I'm going to stick. So there's a picture. They've got, you've got, like, some bits. Yeah, like, loads of bits. And I'm just going to decoupage them on. And I think I'm going to do a video of the process of me doing that. So you can all see. Like, these comics smell vile, like, old people. It's gross. So I'm not impressed with that, but anyway, apart from that, like, I'm really happy with them. And then the last thing I've got was also from a boot sale, and it was this coat, and it's amazing, I really love it. It's, um, sort of a beigey brown coat. It's got double, it's got one pocket this side, it's got double pockets this side, which apparently double pockets show it's well made. It's got buttons, it's got, like, a collar, it's a big, heavy coat. And I'm really happy with it. It was only £2. And I literally saw it as soon as we walked in. And it's um, tailored by Air Eaton. I don't know what that means. But I'm going to look it up and see if I've got a bargain here. But even though it's coming to summer, I think this would be a great coat for next winter. It would definitely fit me. I'm really, really happy with it. So, yes. And I need to just add, right? My friend Robin gave me loads of her clothes that she didn't want, including this jumper. And um, I'm not going to include everything because this would make this video ridiculously long. But I just want to say thank you so much, Robin, because I really love everything she gave me. And I'm so happy because it, like, she gave me so many knitted jumpers. 
so next winter is going to be so cosy and warm so cosy and cosy and warm yeah so yeah that's all so like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye hello hello today i have a boot sale no let's start tom can you not i have to start again now